What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another Dark Frog Adventure. Uh, had to get out of the house today. I come down to this cool little park here. Thought I'd bring you guys on this adventure. It's uh, Denzel, like Denzel Stewart Park or something. It's a little nature reserve park. It's pretty freaking cool. I've only been down here once. I got my good friend Yimmy out here with me. He's right here in front of us. There's Yimmy. But, uh, <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, if you guys have been following my videos and whatnot, uh, following my channel, you'll know that I just broke my wrist. So I wanted to get out of the house and do a little something. Jimmy was cool enough to say, yeah, let's go out and get a little bit of exercise. So we're going to go ahead and kind of check around this park real quick and see everything. Uh, last time I was down here, it was like the beginning of the summer. And all this stuff has really grown up pretty wild and everything because it's a natural reserve park. So, But anyhow, let's go ahead and get into this adventure. So yeah, they've got all these little walkways and everything. I was depending on whether or not to do like a little uh, live stream out here today. Denzel out Stewart Natural Park. Oh, it says we are right here. <laughs> we are. We are. <laughs> the only problem with this park is, is it closes at like 7 or 8, so we wouldn't be able to come down here at night, which is a bummer. Just wait till Halloween. Exactly. So yeah, we got a Halloween adventure coming up. Um, we're going to do a live stream uh, over at a covered wagon, like Pioneer type of facility. Uh, like I said, once that gets a little bit closer, I'll give you more details and everything. Just kind of checking out this little sign right here. I'll show you the sign real quick. So this place goes around. It's like a little loop. Uh, last time I was out here, there's some cool stuff over in the trees over there. We'll go check those out here in a little bit. Yeah, there's, yeah, like Yumi was just saying, there's all these little plaques and it tells the history of out here. So I'll hold it there for a second, you guys can pause and read it if you like. And there's another one right up there where Yumi's at. What is this one? All oh, Riverbank and Pioneer. Pioneer cattle. Yeah pretty cool spot back in there too and you get these little benches and stuff over here right down there by the river and everything yeah, I'll see if I can get down there without falling see if I can get down there I'll go ahead and give Jimmy a little bit of room that way it gives me a little bit of room to kind of oh I didn't see the trouble there Yeah. I'll probably have to take that one going back up. Oh, cool. Here's the river. And there's like a little fort structure over there. It's kind of cool. Well, cool. It's when the river rises. Yeah. All this would get flooded out. Get over here by the river a little bit. I definitely gotta be careful where I'm walking. You can see the mountains up there. Come down the river. Yeah, so this place back here, 
kind of off the trail. Has a creepy feel to it. It'd be pretty cool to check this place out at night, but like I was saying earlier, this place closes at 7, so... Not allowed back in here. After hours. Get a major fine. Go out there and catch up with the Amy. Yeah, like I said, if I'm huffing and puffing and not as energetic as I usually am, it's because I broke my wrist. <laughs> I just had surgery this last couple days ago, actually like two days ago, and uh, I just finally started to get out of the house for a second to get up and back around, so I wanted to bring you guys a video. Uh, I wanted to show you guys this sign real quick too, this is kind of a cool little sign. All the little bugs. There you go. And we'll catch up with Yimmy. But uh, yeah, like I said, I just had to get out of the house for a little while. Uh, just kind of get out and get active again because I'm uh, I'm a pretty freaking active person so being down with the bus wrist is driving me bonkers I like getting out and adventuring and doing all this kind of stuff and uh, bring you guys with me got all these little benches and stuff over there too I don't know if you can see that I don't really have a way of zooming in it's pretty hard I only got one hand to use Oh, it's not. There is. Let's see if I can get over there. No, there's a wasp nest up in that tree. I'll see if I can get in and zoom in there for you. Where is it? Let me see if I can find it for you guys. There it is. That's a giant wasp nest. Yeah, we're a little late in the season to be playing backyard pinatas, so. <laughs> That's usually the beginning of the year. <laughs> oh, nice. Black, what is it? Build magpie. All oh, those birds? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Magpies. The magpies around here, they're just. Obnoxious. They are obnoxious. <laughs> they have their own language. No, that, that, that they do. There's a big rock pile back in there, too. It's kind of easy to see back in the woods now because it's like all the leaves are falling off the trees. Mm -hmm. Come out here in the beginning of summer and this is all, all grown up really good. And I don't think they come out here and really cut anything. I think they just kind of let it grow and do its thing like it would be a natural arc. I do definitely want to go back in there though. Go for it. I'm going to read the sign while you're doing that. Okay. It looks like an old hut back in there too. It does. Okay. Yeah, there's some huts back here. Guaranteed. Like I said, with those huts, it's always something crazy with these huts. There's always some kind of paranormal attraction to them. So Yumi has this K2, and you know, there's a little hut right there. I mean, it's quite obvious that people come back here and make these things. I mean, it's not, they're not like uh, magically appear or anything like that, but you definitely know that people make them, but for some weird reason, there's always strange paranormal activity that hangs around these type of huts. I don't know why. You gonna pop out your K2, you mean, and see if there's anything crazy back here? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, Yumi has his K2 out and it's not moving, which is kind of surprising, but yet not super surprising. Yeah, I'm showing the huts back in there. Yeah. Oh, they don't know. They just went up to yellow. Did it? Yeah, right here. It's like dropping off. It's weird.
Wonder. Nope. It's not my camera setting it off. Because I had my. It's too far away from you. Yeah, I didn't have my. My camera wasn't setting that off. No, it's the. Uh, see? Yeah. Because um, I put my camera right up to it and it didn't do anything really. Watch. It's probably going to make me a liar. Back up far enough. No, because when you're over there, it's still going green. Yeah, it's still going green. I'm quite a ways away. Yeah, it's not you. It's... That's weird. Yeah, it's just right back in this area, right here by the tree. Yeah, see, I'm like right next to it, and it's not even really doing anything. So every time you hear a Yumi's K2 beep, that's beeping right now, uh, that means it's spiking into the red. There's usually activity back in these areas. When it comes to stuff like this, I'm, I'm very superstitious. That's why I don't ever enter these things. Yeah, it's crazy. Like I said, I've got nothing on me. Yeah, it's not going off right now. My phone's in the truck. Huh. A little bit of activity right here. Definitely interesting. Like I said, it always happens around these huts for some weird reason. I don't know why. It's just really strange. I mean... <clears throat> There are theories, um, it's kind of like abandoned places where parents don't like to hang because it's just somewhere where they can gather and kind of get away from like all the hubbub and hustle and bustle of like everyday people type of stuff. So, I mean, it makes kind of sense why that would, you know, attract some kind of energy. I don't know why, but it's weird. Oh, a little bird's house. Pretty cool. Looks like they moved out a while ago. And Yumi's getting some activity right now on the trail. For a second I did. Yeah, I heard it. I heard it beep. Beep, beep, beep. How far around in this place do you want to go, Yumi? Oh, it just goes up around there. Yeah. There's like a little bit of a trail up there. You want to take that trail a little bit? Yeah. There's some uh, public restrooms right over here. I'm gonna see if they're open because I gotta use the facilities. Uh, like I said, right now, since I broke my arm, I've been staying pretty hydrated and stuff like that. So I'm having to go to the restroom quite often. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and I gotta see if these things are open. So I'll see if I can use the facilities real fast. There they are over there. So I'm going to head over here and hopefully they're open. Usually these things close about the end of summer, so I'm hoping they're open. Here's another sign. I'll show you that real quick. There it is. Hopefully it's open. Please be open. Let's find out. Oh, this is not a restroom. Dog it. <laughs> Just a little entrance. I was hoping this was a restroom. Oh man, there's some more signs in here. Show you some of these signs. Beefalo. Oh, some tracks. This one's cool. There we go. So you can see the tracks and I'll get a little closer so you can read some of it. So we're right above that little stick fort figure hut thingy. I'm not even sure what to call it, like basically little huts. Uh, we're up here walking on this trail and Yumi's K2 is going off, but then again, like I said, we're right above those huts. 
going off now. I heard it beep just like a second ago. It's quiet. It is quiet. All quiet on the western front. <laughs> so Jamie's up there a little ways. We'll catch up with him here in a second. Like I said, I'm I'm a little slow today, that's for sure. So uh right that's the end right there? Yeah. Okay. So I'm just gonna go up to this sign right here real quick. Cause this goes into private property so we can't go too much farther. So the sign says. Yep, there it is, so we can't go up there. We have to turn around and go back down. So yeah, we just want to see where this little trail goes. There's there's a bunch of houses up in there. Uh, that goes to other people's places. Like the sign said, private property, so. Can you show them how high above this park we are? Yeah, we're, we're up here a little ways. Let's see if I can get over here to the edge a little bit. So that goes way down in there. We were down there on that sidewalk not too long ago. It's a pretty cool little park. But we got this hill to go back down. <sighs> pretty nice little hike, little walk. And there's all those little huts and everything. And this is the top view of it. So we're gonna go ahead and work our way back down this little trail. And go back down into, I guess, technically the park. <laughs> so. Nothing. Not a on the way up it was going off. Yeah, it's crazy. Now it's like not doing anything. Bro, we got right above those little huts. Yeah, exactly. We got like free up in this area last time and started beeping like crazy. James K2 beeps when it spikes red. That's the trail you wanted to come up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we came up the other way. Yeah, we came up this way over here. Not a... Yeah. Pretty quiet little park. Pretty nice little park too. It's a natural reserve park. There's a couple of walking bridges to get in here. There's a couple of people over there walking. So yeah, we're winding our way back over to where we started at and everything. So we're, we're getting pretty close back to, it just makes like a big loop. Like I said, it's a, it's a tiny park. It's a pretty cool little park. Nice little walk, you know, nice uh, place to relax in. But uh, I think I'll go ahead and start wrapping down this video. Like I said, I just wanted to come out and get a little exercise. Uh, thanks for Jimmy to, you know, big shout out to him for coming with and driving because I can't really drive right at the moment. Uh, it's, it's nice to get out of the house and everything. But uh, if you're new to my channel, uh, hit subscribe. If you like this video, hit like. Till the next adventure.